Hey guys, so I'm taking a little break from work. Um, my stomach is really hurting me. Um, but you know, as I'm sitting here, I'm trying to distract myself and you know, just conversating with the Lord. And um, you know, I'm thinking of of how James 5:16 says that you know we should confess our sins to each other, you know, and pray for each other. You know, and, and I'm you know I'm thinking how you know a lot of the times. Um, we hold on to secrets, you know, secrets to ourselves that we don't want people to know because we're ashamed of it or, you know, it must have been something in the past or something that happened to us and we just, you know, we want to keep them hidden, you know, and, but man, you know, I just want you to know that the more you, you keep a secret hidden, man, the more that you give the enemy um, permission to basically, um, you know, torment you because of that, you know. Uh, you know, because the enemy, you know, it, you know, you have that in secret and the enemy will start, you know, giving you these, these, um, these feelings of, of guilt and, and, and condemnation and, and making you feel like you're unworthy because, you know, because of this one secret that you have. Um, you know, quick story, you know, when I was going through postpartum depression, I, I kept it to myself. I never said anything. And I, man, I was tormented really, really bad. Like I, I never told anybody that I was having suicidal thoughts. I never told anyone that I was feeling the way I was feeling and how my mind was racing constantly. And so, I mean, it got to the point, you guys, where I, I, in my head, I had already planned how I wanted to just, you know, just take my life away. Um, and, uh, you know, this one time, you guys, that I, you know, I literally, I was just done. Um, you know, my best friend, Rosie, she hit me up and she wanted to have a girl's night, right? And, uh, um, you know, and I was, I thought about it, you know, I didn't want to go, you know, I just, you know, I just, I didn't feel like it at all. But I, you know, I went ahead and, and, and told her, yeah, and, and we went out. And I remember that that day, the only thing I wanted to do was to go out to a place where they had live music. That way I can at least get some relief of, of my mind racing and my thoughts just constantly, you know, just just constantly moving and, uh, and going and, and just whatever. And um, so we got to this first place that that I know always has live music and they didn't have it that night. And then so we went to this other place where they were going to have live music guys and as soon as we got there they had just stopped playing so i remember just sitting there and the entire time you know i'm talking to her and the entire time my mind is racing and i can just hear the enemy saying you know what you know you're you're not even worth it like you might as well just you know just just finish it you know get it done tonight and just get it over with and so, man, I remember that night, I tried my best to just keep a smile on my face as I was talking to her. And, and I knew that she knew that something was going on, you know, because I wasn't myself. And as much as I tried to just keep it together and not show any emotion and not even say anything, as soon as we got in the car, you guys, I remember just crying and, and just crying and crying because I just, I couldn't help it. I couldn't take it anymore man the enemy was in my head just it was just really really bad and you know that night I confessed to her and I told her everything that was going on and every every emotion every thought every feeling and she prayed with me you know and just like in James 5 16 it says to, to confess and to pray for each other man I, I you know I can't thank God enough for the fact that he you know she was there for me and she was there to you know the right time at the right time that I really needed someone and you know and and I'm not saying that God wasn't there I mean God was there but when you're in that mental state man the enemy really blinds you of, of the Lord and he really makes you feel like you have no one and so that night man you know I'm so like I said I'm very blessed and grateful that Rosie was there and she was able to pray with me and and you know I got over it you know I it really helped and and you know of course I, I you know I went to the doctor I got you know medication and, and you and I did counseling as well and I mean I'm not saying that now just because you know just because I'm a Christian or just because I choose to live the way Christ you know lived or be the Christ-like person I mean I'm not saying that I'm perfect because even till then man even till then the enemy will try and come and, and, and steal my joy because that's all he knows how to do but even till then I still struggle sometimes but you know I've learned that I have to 
you know, I, I think about, you know, the things that, that, that I learned when I was doing the counseling and it was always about challenging your thoughts and not letting, you know, not letting the irrational thoughts get the best of you because they're, they're lies and it's just the lies that the enemy puts. Um, and you know, wherever you go, man, remember, you got to remember that God has his people working out on the field. So regardless of where you go, you know, God is always there and God always has his people. I mean, I, I, you know, right now, you know, I mean, I've had several episodes of, of, of feeling just like I've, hopeless you know feeling hopeless and feeling like I'm just not worthy and and not you know like I shouldn't be here and through those times man God had the perfect people right there for me and helping me out and you know most of the people that have been there are the, actually the ladies that 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 I do prison ministry with so again I'm not perfect and 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 just because you see someone at the altar doesn't mean that they have it all together it, you know it's not about that even even the ones that we stand up in the altar and we speak to those who, who need it. I mean, even us, we still need God and we still see God every day. You know, we seek him, you know, we, we need him. You know, it's impossible to live in this life nowadays without God, you know, and you have to allow Christ in the journey. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. And when you cannot, and when you feel like something is holding you back and you feel like you just can't do it, then this is why it's important to have, you know, Christ-like friends, you know, and brothers and sisters that are going to be there to help you out. People that are going to be able to, you know, let you know what the, tr the real truth is. You know, people that are going to be able to say, you know what, no, you know, people that are going to help you and tell you, no, that's the lie of the enemy. You know, you're not unworthy. You're not unloved. You know, Christ died on the cross for you. You know, he's been there for you. You know, it's, you know, some, like I said, when you're in a mental state like that, of, of you know just depressed or, or whether it be anxiety or whatever mental this you know disorder that you may be experiencing you know I know it's hard you know I've been there and I know it's very very hard to just I mean you can't just snap out of it you can't just it's hard it's a pro, you know it's a process but having the support and having the people that need you there I mean just having people that support you and that are Christ-like and they're going to be able to point out the lie man that's such a big help and it's such a big blessing and, and like i said everywhere you go man god has his people god will never send you somewhere where he doesn't have his people out in the field so reach out you guys man if you're going through something or if you need to confess something and you're too ashamed to to tell your family or your friends reach out to me send me a message let me pray with you let me help you overcome whatever you're trying to overcome you know you're not alone um no one is alone here and, and I'm just here to, you know, just sharing my heart and sharing my experience and knowing that, you know, if, if the enemy messed with me and messed with my mind, I can only imagine what he tries to do the other, to other people as well. So God bless you guys and remember that what the enemy meant for harm, the Lord always, always, always turns it into good. In Jesus' mighty name.